Welcome to Cocoon. Thank you for joining us for today's uh, First Impressions presentation. Uh, big thank you for the code being sent over for this. I really appreciate it. I wasn't expecting one, and uh, I've been looking forward to playing this for a while. Uh, ever since that first release trailer, it caught my eye, and I'm uh, excited to see how it came out. So let's begin. Oh, I enjoy when things ripple like that. Oh, are those beetles? I had that opalescent membrane again, like from uh, Deluvian Ultra last night. So we've got our little character here who has beautiful seafoam colored wings. Which we can't seem to do anything with at the moment. Right now our character is just walk-only mode. Can we walk off this? No, we cannot. So we just gotta take in the scenario, see what's around us. A beautifully rendered desert canyon with radiant sun coming down from above. One feathered crow awaits. And look at these. We've got some craterous rocks over there. Which appear to have some sort of junction points coming out of them, like strips cut into the ground. And then down, of course, all the way at the bottom, uh, it seems to be some sort of orb on a track. Or something like that. I'm sure we'll find out more about that later. So far, this game and Scorn have something in common. They both start with you waking up in a very strange environment and being born. Don't know why the rocks did that. I guess they don't want me going back up. Oh, I found this. I can fan my wings down and then that makes new stairs. Lovely. Oh, pretty. I really enjoy this, uh, amount of mesh detail in all of the rendering. It looks low poly almost, but it, it's like still kind of tight. It's got good detail despite being relatively low poly. And I really like whatever that color scheme is there, that tertiary blue-orange. Magical. Yeah, exactly. That's a better way of saying it. The modeling looks super clean. All the edges are are really tight and look right. Okay, we've got the orb. And we can drag. It's an orb and drag. Check this freaking thing out. What on earth is this? A beetle on a beetle? That is not how I was expecting to get over there. <laughs> cool. Come on. That's freaking cool. I think they're giving us a quick tour of a lot of different possible mechanics. This feels like it might become a bridge later or something. The world feels adequately alive. I don't know what those things are. Desert jellyfish. I'd like to get to know them better. But I don't think I'm able to at the moment. Which is a crying shame. Um, am I able to access this? Ah, I see. They're telling me to do that and then get off at the other point. I am very smart. This mesh... Uh, it, it strikes me as like if it was stained glass, but with all the glass knocked out. I wonder if that has a proper name, because I've seen it in a number of different places, that sort of mesh. It always looks sort of rubberized. Oh. Oh, okay. This is like a momentum ramp. The more I hold the button, the more I get shot up in the air at the end. 
So just stained? Yeah, it's without the glass. Just... It, it, they... They dropped a letter in it as well. Did you know the band Stain just had a new album come out? They've been a band for like... 25 years. That is a cool door. It's somewhat intimidating as well. Am I supposed to... No. Let me go stand in the middle. Maybe we'll get there later. Oh. Pillars again? Pillars for Algernon. Activate all the little seed pods, and then you get a... A Deku nut. What's this? Oh! There we go. So now we've got... That orb. The whole world in our potential hands. I have not yet played Chance of Sinar, but I have heard of... Uh, why I might like it. Did you see that? I have the whole world in my hands, as I said. And that's the last time I'll make that joke. Lovely glowing orb. I think we're in Midgar now? So I can use my planetary power to uh, open bridges, I guess. I want to do another marble pull with, like, a mucus membrane coming off of it, like the first one. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, to the other side of this pipe. Let's see. Which, uh... Now I have a way over there, with my marble friend. So if you're less puzzle-inclined, you may have just decided to go backward, thinking that you were meant to continue in the other direction. But I know what we're going for here. Or at least I have an idea. World power to open the aperture door. And then we can pick up our marble from the other side. Ah. Tube rerouting. Always a fan of tube rerouting. How do we kick it in? Or do we? Maybe we gotta suck it before we kick it? Oh, this might be the feeder that goes through all these pipes. That might be a an exit ramp, in case you don't do the puzzle correctly. Look at all the nice little details everywhere, it's great. Alright, so you've got to step on the buttons in time to route them. Otherwise it kicks it out instead. And so far, so good. So good. All the good. There. Not a problem. Thank you for trying to help me with Deluvian Ultra. I ended up refunding it, uh, but we'll buy it when they add controller support. Fair enough. Sorry that was confusing for you. Um, the devs seemed like they were very nice, and it sounded like they were aware that that's something people would want. So hopefully it won't be terribly long. I assume you didn't want to mess around with uh, Steam controller configuration and all. It wouldn't be a problem if my keyboard wasn't broken, so it's mostly my fault. Oh, it's not your fault. It's okay. Okay, so does this stop wherever it is when I take it out, or does it default to a particular... Oh, it stops. Okay, it stops there. So we just have to line these two up. Should be easy enough. Fun. I 
I'm wondering, is this going to be like... 10 levels deep of these puzzles feeding back to themselves? Like, we're gonna go deeper and deeper... ...out of our original shell. You know, into external worlds. And then eventually bring them back into each other to then ultimately solve a puzzle at the core of it all. If that's the case, I'm down. It sounds great. Oh, look at this. Don't really know why we do that, but it's a thing we can do now. Oh, I got locked. If I took that off, it would go back, I assume. So I'm probably meant to leave it there. These are very alien looking. I hope they don't bap me. Kind of look like they come down and smack my head or something. Oh. Oh, is this a pattern? Or is it just meant to hit them all? Yeah, I think it's a pattern. Uh, let's see. So we've got... A whole bunch of shapes on the floor. Oh, let's drag this first. Maybe this will reveal something important. I see it's got all the shapes on it. Am I supposed to do them in the order they... ...rise in, or...? I think it's just showing me. So, start with the... ...diamond one. Then the crossed out one. Then the three prong one. I already forgot what the first one was, sorry. Alright. So reticle, crossed, three, butterfly. Okay, it was that simple. I thought there was more to it. Put the pillar back up for aesthetics, I guess. Okay, I, was, I hope I was supposed to do that. By the way, no UI at all. It's completely clean. I don't even need one. Everything is being displayed just fine. So I've got a little searchlight friend now. Maybe they'll help me with the next puzzle. Can you disable these pillars, please? Oh, you can! Well, that's good news, because I actually could use those inside of the desert world. Maybe you let me go in it? No. We bounced up from that pad below. And I think this is an exit only? So it seems like the only thing I can do here is place the orb that position or this position. Which doesn't seem right. There must be another way to go to the left, then. Or is this gone, too? Is there something I'm not seeing here? Oh! I didn't realize I was meant to hold down the button. I was tapping it, but I didn't hold it long enough, so I didn't get the effect. Right, so we can go through that world that way. Will it help me with this door? 
no. Very mysterious door, though. I'm sure we'll find out more about that. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's got freaking glowing crystals inside. That's the best thing you could have had in here. Oh, this area rocks. Get it? Because there's rocks. Well, they're minerals, but you know. Oh! How do I get these in real life? Oh, they even make a fun sound when you step on this sort of little plasticky. Yes. Pull the treasure chest by its weird knob. <laughs> this is pretty cool. All right, should I give it back? Give it its knob back. Luco1! Thank you so much for subscribing for three months! Said cheers. Well, cheers to you as well. Much appreciated. There are many places on Twitch you could be using that Twitch Prime subscription, and I appreciate that you used it here. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Oh! This is like a Plumbus travel system. Unofficial Plumbus. Oh, we've got Ferrofluid Zone. Oh, they've covered all the, th the things I love already. They've got Ferrofluid, Waggly Dongles, and Iridescent Crystals with Opalescent Finish. What more could I really ask? I released a Moon Ancestor, by the way. I don't really watch Twitch at all, so I'm happy to support people I watch elsewhere with my Prime sub. Thank you! Yeah, you can see why I'm... Oh, God. Why I'm so excited about this game. It is ticking all the boxes for me. It's just so clean looking. All the edges look so nice. Crisp. What is that? It's beautiful. It's mysterious. Oh, we come back into the industrial zone now. But we haven't really learned or changed anything. And also, I guess it, like, ate my buddy when I opened the door. I think I maybe shouldn't go here yet? That's a great transition. Oh! Hi? Are you a portal turret? Hello? What's going on here? You know what would actually be sick is if, uh, the next Titan Souls game looked like this. I mean, Death's Door kind of went in that direction. But even more, like, wacky sci-fi craziness. Alright, so those are bombs, apparently. And I've pissed this thing off. I don't really have much that I can do other than run around. So how I'm meant to fight a boss, I'm not entirely clear yet. But I'm assuming it's... Oh. It's going to give me things, and I'm going to use them. Ah, there's the bomb crawling about. They tutorialized that I would find it. If only I could shoot it straight in the heart with an arrow. Or the eye. I don't mind. Oh! I think it got me. Oh, it threw me out of the world! 
So that's what you do when you lose. You get kicked down. Alright, well I understand the premise. Let's try that again. Or do I just finish what I started? It's like that, uh, bouncy boss from Link to the Past. Just bounces you away and then you live to fight another day. It's a bad strategy for the boss room. There's no escaping that. They seem to zoom in at you no matter what you do. Man, your butt sure has a lot of crystals in it. Oh, right. I'm supposed to pull it out when we're near it. I thought I get to hold it. You wanna come here? Oh! It, it like, dissolved. I think I kind of, like, broke its cycle slightly. Oh, he got me again. What a jerk. I thought I exploded it faster than that is all. I don't really understand the B attack part. It doesn't seem like it does anything. Oh, it's pissed now. You need to drop crystal pentacles. With your crystal pentacles. Right, so I pulled it up. And now I can lure it over here. And now we detonate it. There you go. Rule of threes. Will you be my friend? Oh. Oh! There's more. I didn't expect that. S suspenseful. Can I do something here? Or am I just meant to navigate for a while? Ah. Oh. 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 Have that. Yeah, this game is somewhat ASMR as well. I feel like the... Oh, that, that effect is great. So many of these effects have, like, perfect sound effects to go along with them. Makes them all very tactile, you know? Right, would you call it Foley in this case? I mean, it kind of is Foley, but... I'm just always used to associating that concept with 2D animation. Oh, thanks very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Oh, Crystal World has been completed, maybe? Oh! Check this out! I'm freaking carrying the essence of the Crystal World now. Oh, this is magical. It's a spherical miracle. That is a good question. I'm not sure what engine this is. I'm not getting an obvious... Uh, ...unity from it. If anybody has any clue, feel free to say so. Assuming we're pulling this again. Bridging. Bridging over there, okay. Now this is a cool way to do a Metroidvania conceit. We're using the power of an entire world as our powers. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're meant to uh, bend that and then imply what direction the bridge would go from there. See, that wouldn't help me at all, as far as I know. Just to make sure, yeah. So we want it probably, like, up left. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, right. Uh, right, okay, I think I follow. I'm supposed to turn that again to that position, then go back to the original bridge, then slot it the other way. And then if this is over here, hopefully I should be able to uh, continue down this path. If I understand the puzzle correctly. Which I do. Which I do. Who's that down there? Some kind of mollusk with a drill for a head. Can't find an indication of what engine. Well, that's right, thanks for looking. Sometimes it says in credits, uh, or it's implied through credits, but it's not... not obvious here, I guess. You know the guy from Lost Isolith, that, like, pyramid-shaped alien thing, would probably be well at home in this zone? The thing with the little munchy teeth in the middle? How can I... be on that? Oh, I can catch it in the middle, that's how. I was just wondering, because of the Unity drama, it would be a shame to see this dev or game get in trouble. Um, no, 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 it's okay now. They've recanted the worst of it. Um, not that it's good now. It's not good, but anything that's prior to 2024 is not subject to the new terms. So you don't have to worry, even if this is Unity. Uh, they wouldn't be subject to the new terms unless they updated to the 2024 build of Unity. Which I'm sure they wouldn't want to do, so. Yeah, you should be fine. Or they should be fine. Uh, yeah, they took like a week and a half to come up with this, but they came up with a slightly better version of their overreach. Which is still... Uh, well, I'm not going to get into it today. Because I've talked about it at length, and I even posted a YouTube video about this. So if you want to see my thoughts for a half an hour about the Unity debacle, um, you can go to my YouTube, youtube.com slash rockleysmile, and catch my most recent video there. Uh, where I break it down in detail. Sorry, I got myself distracted. It is a very interesting topic, though. Don't get me wrong. Cool. But yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, my heart goes out to all the indie devs that were in a potentially awkward or potentially awful position based on that. And I just want them to have their needs met however they need. So I can drag this thing around, and then it'll rest where I leave it for a moment, and then head away. You know the creepiest part about it is those two little blue antenna coming up out of the top. For some reason, that creeps me out. The other bit's not so bad. You think we're gonna walk up their heads later as like a small insect? I feel like it's a spire we can climb. It's, an, it's a spire, I aspire to get higher. Oh, I see. Okay, we're supposed to wrangle them so they, I guess, simultaneously do their things. Oh. <laughs> it's like herding cats. No, I need to really over-drag this one. Because the other one zips back away. They really just want to stay in their little corner. They're like the boxers of this world. And this one doesn't come out of the corner. It only goes there. Alright, we locked them in. What is this? Oh. 
very cool. Oh, it's so alien looking. This is good enough for me to pull my armrest down. <laughs> I'm just taking in the visuals. It's it's very cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, the pulse effect is so good. Um Hello. look like something from Metroid. Like, uh, like from Metroid Prime 2 or something. So now I've got this planet with me. To what end? I don't know. Yeah, so far this game freaking rocks. I like it a lot. It's very luminescent, which gives me the idea that probably we can use this as a light source. And, uh, there's two slots available here, so I suppose we'll be able to carry both along. Seems like we need to take them both. It's gonna get a little awkward, though, because we don't really have very many... Uh... We don't have any pockets, really, so we've gotta haul all the orbs together. But I think this is not a problem. Imagine if these were, like, badges in Hollow Knight, where we could equip them to our character... ...and then gain powers... ...by solving the world's problems, you know? Right, so now I can take the green orb and put it here, and this is gonna act as a wishing well, and we can hold and go into it. So cool! Imagine if this was a nonsense Final Fantasy... I think you mean 10. Right? I don't think they had them in... 7. Oh, we got buddies under the ground... under the water. Well, I guess it's kind of the ground. Do you consider the water to be ground? <laughs> How do they even do that with a, without a load screen? Well, they, they must stream it in. But it is very smooth. That transition is is expertly made. Okay, we gotta bring our orb over there. Which means that I can take an orb into another orb. I just learned. Today I till. This seems problematic. I'm bending reality in strange ways that I don't know how this will turn out. Yeah, it's completely smooth. Like, there is... there is no hint of a loading screen. If the... the only thing that might be happening is there's, like, a motion blur to sort of disguise... Uh, p possibly geometry loading in. Oh, that's my ride! I just assumed I would need the orb, so... Yeah, that's... No, it's perfect. There's there's nothing... Oh, it brings the orb with... No, it doesn't. I don't know what I'm saying. We're just somewhere else now. Right? Are we somewhere else? Oh, do you know what? I bet I could bring... No, never mind. I had a stupid idea, but it was wrong. Uh, do I bring the green orb into the orange orb? I don't know why. I had to keep going? Okay, I can do that. I definitely am excited to find out about this diamond. That's the boss we got. Okay. I get the impression you're gonna get a lot of opportunities 
Oh, we need our, our ship buddy that breaks these barriers away. But I don't know how to get him back. Hmm. This is almost like a checkpoint. Can I go this way? No. Yeah, without the ability to get rid of these, I think this is the end of the road at the moment. Because I can't even go back this way now. Uh, what's the best way to get a drone buddy now? Once I lost that one, I'm not sure how we would get another. I think what they're doing is quite cleverly gating me into various portions of the map, so that way I can't get myself too far turned around. I think the only actual option right now is to uh, go into the orange with the green. So I think I was correct, I just did it for the wrong reasons. No, it's okay. I also was confused. I didn't really know what the right thing to do there was. I'm also still sort of figuring out the game's language. Oh. The music was so lovely it made me sneeze. Ah, it looks like we can get a new buddy here. We just have to learn what the order might be. Oh, there it is. Is it left to right? Four, five, three, six. Butterfly. Hey, Oak Dune. It's going well, thanks for asking. How are you? Oh! Something about that little honey manifesting. It kind of reminds me of a plort from Slime Rancher, but it makes me excited anyway. Well, I guess plorts do make me excited, even though they're kind of gross. Cool. Now we got a buddy, we can disable the pillars, and we can go explore in the green world. Look at all the detail in the background. It's possible that the marketing campaign might really kick up, like, right now. Maybe they'll start talking about it a lot more soon. This wasn't on your radar? I, I kind of, honestly kind of lost track of when it was releasing. I think I had it in my head it was releasing in November for some reason. But, uh, I don't think they changed the date. I think I just lost track myself. Yes. As far as puzzle games go, this is, like, exactly the type of thing I love. What is this? Oh, it's a honey grabber! It recrystallizes them? Oh, I see. Okay, so this is a boundary point where I can only... I can bring my friend up to, but not past. Do you see also why it's a bit hard to describe why this game is cool in only a few words? Like, it's a whole thing. It's, it's an experience made up of many mechanics. In addition, the ambience, the visuals, the audio, like, all of it's working in concert very well. And the concept being sort of, you know, worlds you go in and out of to use for puzzles, but, like, that's not really accurate. That doesn't explain the breadth of the situation properly. It's one of those games that I think more than just talking about, I think, just needs to be seen for a few moments. 
Oh, Mariner's Branch released another Moon Ancestor, right? I'm guessing these might be optional, but I'm not entirely sure. Hi, King. How's it going? Welcome to Green World. It's, uh, not Orange World. Look at that ripple. Look around that rock there. You see that ripple? What a lovely ripple. I also really like the, uh, moss patterns on the top of the water. They remind me of a particular game that I'm now spacing on. Um, the art style of them, I mean, has a very particular look. There's a lot of great art stuff going on everywhere you look. I guess we'll put him in the honey grabber. Oh, is it commencing a chase? Oh! How can I destroy the honey grabber? I need to bring my friend. Oh, I can just use this to move it over and then go around it. <laughs> I like 10,000 times overthought that situation. It was is really very simple. <laughs> Two weeks into my new job. Stressful but fun so far. Glad to hear it. Well, not the stressful bit, but the fun bit. Some types of stress can be a little fun, though. You know, playing competitive online shooters is stressful in a way, but eh, probably not the same way your job is, though. Alright, new honey grabber, new day. What do we do? We bounce? We bounce. Why do we bounce? Because it feels good? Where does this go? This is just the same one as it was before, right? We're just in the same spot now. Yeah. I see. Oh, I didn't know what the image was. I thought it was sort of a generic cube map of the area, but it's actually an active portal into that world. So we can see when things pass by. I mean, I guess it's got like a projected camera into there. Somehow. I just, <laughs> I'm very curious about how this is all constructed. I'm also curious about these colorful rocks everywhere. Hello? Oh, this is your time to shine. Triangle it up. This opens another big old door. Oh, Regal. It looks like the Godfall uh, brand presence. I'm sorry to associate this with Godfall. <laughs> Just before I go, anything over here? It wasn't that bad. It was maybe egregiously monetized, but, like, the gameplay was okay. Oh, we got golden flappers. What's this? Oh, this is magical! What is this? Why do they do this? They're showing me their internals. The part where it turns into mist and then comes back is such a nice effect. Oh, so another bridge direction. Look at these funny little fronds with the triangles on the ends. <laughs> You know when games like Starfield and No Man's Sky are like, visit exotic alien planets? I want to go to places like this. They never have any detail. They're always like, well, it's it's like Earth, but it's a bit dustier and it's green. That's like, all right, but... I, I understand you're not spending 
hundreds of hours developing each one of these planets because it's procedurally generated. But also, we need a bigger uh, bucket to pull from for a lot of these proc gen worlds to be compelling. I'll take this. Uh, even if there's like five of these, I'll take this a hundred times over. Oh no, my sphere is too big. <laughs> I think we can drop it in this tube, and then it'll pass it around to the other side. Yes. It even has ball returns from bowling, which is probably my favorite part of bowling. <laughs> now I want a bowling ball that has a planet inside of it. Do they do that in Men in Black? Oh no, they put the, the world on Orion's necklace. Or Orion's... What did they call it? Orion's bracelet? It was a cat's collar. Oh, you're not wrong, Sweater Parrot. Yeah, the inter interior details are impeccable in Starfield. It's just the macro stuff. Uh, not as good. Belt. Right. Thank you. That's obvious. I don't know why I can remember that. So now we've got a double ball, which is rooted. That's rooted now. So I can't leave yet. I just wanted to see what that would do. That would be kind of sick, though, if we could stack ball. Imagine we could get ten of these things inside of each other, like a Matryoshka. Matryoshka. I need my orange to get through this. A little disappointed with the planets so far. They don't seem to have very much geological variation as in No Man's Sky and just flat with a bunch of weird rocks. Yeah, I mean, they really didn't put their emphasis there as far as I can tell. I really think a lot of the emphasis went to, like, the gunplay and interior detailing. Uh... So I could take Orange Ball out with me, but why? That's the question. Why would I do that? A very soothing rainscape as well. I kind of enjoy being in this rain. You know what this would suit really well is the, uh... Dual sense, uh, the touch mechanics in the PlayStation 5 controller. If you played Astro's Playroom, you know when they have rain and it like let you can feel it landing on your character's head. I bet with that controller, you could kind of like feel it hitting the glass. That would be very satisfying. How is Star Citizen doing these days? Um, still is a thing. I don't think it's gotten much further into its development, though. Hmm. Is there some reason I want to do the reverse again? Oh no, is this stuck now? Oh no, it isn't. I'm just gonna double-check my position. Yeah, this doesn't give me access to this cool diamond, unfortunately. And that seems like where we're gonna go. I don't think there's anything here for me right now. But I'm just gonna have a look. This is where we rescued... Yeah, okay, it is. Yeah, we're just meant to go back up. They had to be very careful with how they did the level design, because I really think this is a... an excellent opportunity for players to get very lost. Um, because you're dealing with multiple concurrent, potentially non-linear worlds folding in on themselves, and... you kind of want to go keep poking around them sometimes, but you don't always have an opportunity to do anything. They kind of have to gate you in quite readily, I'd say.
I'd honestly watch a film about this. I know it's kind of beyond the scope, but... Whatever's going on here, very interesting. Oh yeah, that's another factor I didn't even mention. It's completely show-don't-tell. Every single thing that happens has been just you experienced it. Which is my favorite way to do an alien world. Every time it's done like this, I feel like it's the best way to do it. The 13th floor movie is an idea. Layered world rather than open world. Sorry, I'm not familiar with the 13th floor. That sounds cool, though. Uh... Wait, what's the relevance of that? I just noticed there is one spot that we can uh, come back on. Hmm. 90s movie before Matrix with the idea of layered worlds. I definitely want to see that. Thank you for recommending it. Could somebody pop that in the related links uh, thing on Discord for me so I'll remember to go watch that later because it sounds really good. So I know what my goal is. I need to get orange marble from here to here. Does it just come in through wherever I last... was? I need to, like, pass it to myself. I can only put it on this base, by the way. I can't just, like, drop it where I like. In case you were thinking I could somehow, like, put it here and then, like, navigate it around the edge. No. Uh... I feel like this is not actually a difficult problem, I'm just not sure what I'm missing. Oh. Oh, I know. It is not a difficult problem. I need to do this. I was not thinking in three dimensions at all. I was just like, how do I do it within this space? I'm just using this like a portal now. Thank you. Now I feel very stupid, because that was super obvious. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure you probably all figured that out right away. Uh-oh. All right, don't know what that was about. Looks like we can go this way now. The grip has ripped. What is this? Oh! Alright, launch me down here. Hopefully that's good. Oh, I have no friend. Even without a honey grabber around. I have to wonder if I've actually maybe heard of this film and just forgot. So the name sounds vaguely familiar, but I can't think of what it looked like or anything about it. Oh. Are we approaching the next demon that I must fight? Yes. The starfish. The hideous starfish. Oh, it's a it's a Mario Sunshine. Yeah, this all feels very Titan Souls, doesn't it? A game I love, by the way. That thing's weird. Oh, 
We need Samus. Huh? Oh, I like put it back into a pod? It seems to be able to phase things out of existence whenever it touches one. And this one seems to glow red. So let's get that one again. But then when I let go of it, it eats me, and then the bomb, the bomb goes back? Okay, hang on. Once I figure out this boss, I'm gonna have to quick look at the uh, 13th floor, because I want to see what we're talking about now. Okay, so wherever this lights up, we need to direct the boss in that direction. There's like a really cool camo stipply effect happening within that transparency. If you look really carefully, it looks like extra sharpened. Which suits this effect quite well. Oh, I can pull it! Right, okay. I didn't really notice the first time that that's what was happening. I was pulling it off. Oh, okay, I have to avoid that. I have to pull it off its stock, and then I can fly up. So the bomb's in this one now. Do it in Mario Sunshine again. Oh, that's not how... Okay, I have to be patient, I guess. I was insufficiently tutorialized, I suppose, for this fight. Sorry. Third time's charm, I think. What charm should it be? Hearts, stars, clovers, uh, blue moons, golden rainbows, red balloons. Uh, I'm dead. Fourth, fourth time's charm. Sorry. Dark city. Imagine being in a city and it's dark. What would you do? That's like those vampire dudes in I Am Legend. They just stood in the basement together. They weren't hurting it. They were just sitting there. It's like one of those lights off raves. They're all just listening to their AirPods with each other, just standing together in a room, waiting for Will Smith to show up. There we go. Present your exploitable weak point. Thank you. Yeah, the silent disco. But then when Will, S Will Smith shows up to the silent disco, you've got to uh, run at him, right? Or he'll slap you. Okay, I can't see any orb. No red glow this time. Oh, there it is. Okay, just gives you a little, little time to wait. I thought maybe they're gonna shell game it for a minute. Like, they'll show you where it is, but you can't grab it for a while, so you just gotta remember and follow the path. That was close. Please show me your weak point. Oh, we've gotta do another round of bullets. A little bullet heck action. Close enough. If we're talking about weird cities, you gotta watch Blame. The infinitely generated procedural city. Where people have kind of been left behind. Okay, I'm in quadrants now. And the fish is a saw. Oh, I think I meant to use that to get around. Okay, right. Those being silly again. Thank you. I played a whole indie game about avoiding discs. Must have played 20 hours of that game. I can avoid a disc if I have to. Hopefully I can avoid bullets as well. Because I've been to bullet heck. No swearing.
Floor 13 is an ad adaptation of a sci fi novel, Simulacrum 3, right? Fair question, and hopefully someone in chat knows. There we go. No problem at all. Just had to pay actual attention to what was happening. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. The sphere has revealed. Phantasmal grace. Oh, that is a beautiful effect. That is a 10 out of 10 transitional effect for that. I love that. It just turned into mist. Where do you go from here? Turning into ribbon? <laughs> well, maybe it'll turn into ribbons. 